Guys, we're gonna double smoke a ham today. We're gonna do it on the Ninja Woodfire XL. All right, guys, but you can do this on whatever wood fire grill or oven you have. Just follow the same steps, okay? Now, why are we double smoking this? Well, the Carver ham we bought is already smoked. It's applewood smoked, okay? So we're gonna give it the second smoke using our wood fire grill. Guys, this is just a little Carver ham from uh, Costco. It's a little more than five pounds. We're gonna use the instructions on the back of the packaging with a little caveat there. We're gonna drop the temperature. It calls for 350. I'm gonna set it up for 300. Being that this is such a condensed spacing, I wanna make sure that it gets, uh, you know, not too much heat. Guys, I already set up the ham in the house real quick. I just scored the top, you know, hat, cross hatch style. Okay, got a really sharp knife to slice through the fat, through some of the meat too. And then we use a little honey as a binder for the rub we're gonna use. Now that rub is a sweet dessert shake by Uncle Steve Shake. I like the idea of like a honey baked ham and uh, you know, I love that, that sugary crystallized, uh, you know, brulee type uh, crust for the, the honey baked ham. So we're gonna use a little Uncle Steve Shake, uh, that dessert shake to kind of mimic that. You know, with the honey, with that sweet rub, it'll have that nice crust on the outside, okay? I'm not gonna try to brulee it afterwards. The, you know, I'm just gonna let the, the heat from the grill do the, do the work, right? But uh, we're also going to make a little pineapple glaze. Probably the simplest pineapple glaze you'll ever make. I have a can of pineapple that we're gonna pour the juice out of. I'm gonna throw a little honey in there and a little bit of that dessert shake and uh, just let that reduce a little bit. And then we'll use that as our glaze on the top. If you guys do not have that dessert shake, a little cinnamon, a little sugar, a little bit of salt, mix all that together and you'll, you'll have a, you know, somewhat of a basis of what I'm looking for, okay? This is a really simple setup, a really simple recipe. Like I said, we're gonna go off the instructions. I'm gonna take it to, it says, take it to the internal 130. I'm gonna use my instant read thermometer to check that. It says uh, 30 minutes for each pound. So I'm gonna set it up for about three hours in there. All right, so it's a five pound roast, 30 minutes. Do the quick math, two hours and then a half. And then there's a little bit of carryover because uh, it's a little bit more than five pounds. So we're gonna set it for three hours, okay? And then we'll just check on it periodically. After that first hour, when all that smoke hits it, we're gonna go ahead and start basting with that glaze and we'll do that every half hour or so. So we're gonna build up that outside, all that good flavor on the outside of the ham. And by the time it's done, we'll slice it up. It'll be wonderful. As far as pellets go in this thing, we're using uh, Jack's uh, by Jealous Devil, it's a blend. I'll put a link down below for it uh, to the Amazon. Guys, any food safe pellets work just fine. Don't overthink your pellets. These are ones that I happen to be using. Everybody wants to know what I use, so that's what I've been using. One in box will last you for a lifetime with this, uh, with these wood fire grills. All right, so nothing left to do but except get this thing fired up, get that smoke rolling. Let's go get over here, get set up. Come on back. We have our grill plate in there. We're gonna set the ham on top of that. Can't fire it up without having it in there, so we'll let it go through the ignition process and then get the ham in. So shut that down. We go hit the start button. Hello, mode. Go to smoker setting. The temp, 300. One more, there we go. Timing, go to three hours. Probably won't need it all. Hit start. The countdown has begun. Smoke is smoking. Better get this bad boy on, what do you say? Oh, it's a beast. Get too good. All right, shut this down. Get that smoke on it, baby. All right, everybody, ham is on and it wants all the smoke, so we're gonna give it to them. Now we're gonna go inside the house and start putting that glaze together. Again, the most simple glaze you'll ever make. I'll have the ingredients for it down below and you'll get to see the prep inside. Let's go. Y'all, it's time to make that glaze. We got our Uncle Steve's dessert shake. Now, like I said, if you don't have this, but there will be a link down below. My guy, Uncle Steve's the best. If you do not have this, cinnamon, sugar, and salt, pretty much all equal parts. Gonna go in with a couple tablespoons of this stuff, the dessert shake. Gonna go in with, I got a can of pineapple here. It's a 20 ounce can. We just want the juice out of there. It's 100% pineapple juice. We're gonna let it reduce in there. So we're gonna just dump out all those. We should get all that juice out. Gonna go in with about a tablespoon of honey, honey. Simplest glaze you'll ever see, for sure. And if you wanna spice this up, which a lot of people do, crushed red pepper flakes, and you got yourself something right there. Okay, so we got a whisk here, we're gonna whisk it all, get that dessert shake dissolved. We got this on a medium heat, 
and we're just gonna let it reduce until it's a thick syrup. All right, everybody, we're about an hour in, give or take. That is a gorgeous looking ham right there. Let's bring you in for a close up. See that scoring the top of that ham right there opens it up and will let us get some more of that glaze and that seasoning and the smoke in there. And a nice simple glaze in there. Beautiful, it's luscious, lovely. Some of that glaze on, just brush it on. We're gonna do this a couple times. It's just gonna get in those nooks and crannies, add all that good flavor. Should we brush it on the front there? Grill grate's gonna get nice and sticky. Just know it, they're easy to clean. Don't stress. And I'm keeping my glaze warm on the, the stove inside the house, not reducing it anymore. It's properly reduced. Oh, that looks amazing. That is just some gorgeous color right there, guys. Whew. Go get the glaze back on the stove. We'll shut this down. We'll come back in another half hour. You know what? While we're here, let's go ahead and take the temps. Guys, it said 130 in the thickest part. Let's take a look. 93. We got some time. We'll give it another half hour. We'll come out and give it a little bit more glaze, and we'll check the temps again. Yeah, we're about an hour and a half in. I've gone ahead and uh, glazed it up a couple times. Didn't really feel like I needed to uh, videotape every time I glazed up the thing. You know, just brush it on. You know, that's it. But let's go ahead and take a look at it. I think we're coming up to temperature. I checked it after my last little uh, uh, brush down, and it was about 120. So I think we're about there. Like I said. It took about an hour and a half, so take that for what it's worth. We're only trying to get this to about 130 internal temperature, okay? So uh, it's an already cooked ham, so we didn't need to recook it. We gave it plenty of smoke. It's got tons of flavor with that sweet rub we put on the outside, and then with that glaze we put on there, it's a beautiful dark mahogany color. It's, it's gorgeous. Go ahead and take a look. We'll take one last temp. We should be ready to roll. All right, let's get down there. All right, there she is, boys and girls. Look at that color. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Dark spots. It's okay. That's just that sweetness getting a little, uh, little caramelized. Oh, it's gorgeous, guys. Gorgeous. We'll get in there and take a quick temp. I don't know if we can see that. 137 in the thickest part. Good to go. Nothing left to do but get this out on a cutting board and uh, start carving into it. Slicing knife here. We got our cutting board. Got me a little spatula and some tongs so we uh, can get this thing off without having a, making a mess. Oh, there you go, love it. I went ahead and turned off the XL grill here. Whew, that looks amazing, guys. Let's start slicing into it, what do you say? I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down to get a little more man manageable slices. So this looks like a good joint to cut off right there, like that. That is a big slice to get started. <laughs> Sneak that one for me. Mm. Oh, that's too good, boys and girls. Mm. Let's try it. Well, I just tried a bite, but let's try another one. Guys, I got me a little bite right here. I just had one off camera. Well, you could probably hear me munching on it, but dude. So flipping good. Gosh, mm. that ham is nice and salty. Combat that with that glaze and that rub we put on top of it. Got a little salty sweet mix. Got plenty of smoke in there. Ham was already smoked. It was applewood smoked, you know, according to the package, which, you know, take that for what it's worth. And then we smoked it with uh, our wood fire grill right here. Too, too, too dang good. Say it again for the people in the back. Give this a try. Use the glaze. It's simple as can be, guys. Trust me. Put the pineapple juice in there, a little of that dessert shake a little bit of that honey and just let it mix it and reduce, okay? And you got a nice, thick, syrupy glaze. Y'all, if you wanna get yourself one of these wood fire grills, either the XL, the regular, I'll have links down below to Ninja Kitchen. It's an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you any more to use it and it helps out your boy. For knives, cutting boards, merch, all the stuff I use in my videos, links are all down below. If you wanna become part of CJ's crew for real and become a show producer, like all these awesome people scrolling in front of me, we have two ways of doing it. Either you can join my Patreon, which there'll be a link below in the video description, or you can hit that join button here on YouTube right next to the subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now, and become a member of CJ's crew and become a show producer. Other than that, guys, we are done. Listen, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. I hope you make one of these for the holidays. And when you do, make sure you tag me on all the social medias. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest. I'm on everything. It's all cooking with CJ in some shape or form. Find me on there, tag me in it. I'll share it out to the world. All right. 
Good stuff, guys. Thanks for sticking with me on this one, and thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.